sketchbook time. Those of you who have watched this video over here know already of my approach to sketchbooking. But to recap, I use a sketchbook in the same way that one might use a diary, which is to document my life, my feelings, my sensations, and I use it to make memories and to hold on to them. I started this practice in June and now two months have passed, so I wanted to walk you through all the things that I've made during this time and tell you a few stories. So the first page, it immediately has a story attached to it. On vacation in uh, July, I found these really, really old, ancient, really wash paints in a cupboard and I just took them and they were really hard and dry and Jesus, like nobody, nobody has painted with them in ages and I was, I was so enthralled and I was so nostalgic that I just had to use them. Yes, so I painted one of the views from the window. I'm really happy that I did because I just feel all warm and fuzzy when I look at this page and also this one. That's the view from another window. It was so fun exploring this medium again after more than a decade and I noticed that I was kind of struggling because with gouache you kind of have to do the opposite of what you do with watercolors, right? So you have to move from the darkest colors to the lightest colors but I didn't actually have any white and that that was a real struggle. I, I really love looking at this page over here. During this vacation we also went to the seaside during sunset and I sat there and just tried to paint with those wash paints. It didn't really work out. Uh, I'm not really happy with uh, the picture per se, but it's still such a fond memory just sitting there. I'm trying to paint all the while I could barely see what I was doing because it was so dark. This wasn't about creating good art, it was just about uh, creating memories and I have achieved that, so I'm quite happy. Moving on, both of these I made in my parents' garden and it was just a really calming and mindful experience. I just saw these leaves and the sun shining through those burgundy leaves and I just had to paint them, just had to try and paint them at the very least. So that one's really interesting. I guess you're kind of surprised to see faces. Yeah, this thing, if you don't know, is the Zorn palette and I tried to apply it to watercolors. You have to know that I went into this with close to zero experience with portraits. I don't know when the last time that I painted portraits was and if I did they did not turn out very well so I was really pleasantly surprised. Then this is kind of all over the place. <laughs> I've been sketching those while I was sitting in the car and my hand was all shaky and I didn't have a lot of control, so those didn't turn out that, that good, I think. And I later went over with watercolors and just tried to add some more interest to them. I also really thought of participating in the 100, uh, in the 100 heads challenge at that point, and maybe I will. Like, leave a comment down below if you'd be interested to see uh, see me participate in that. <laughs> in June I, made, I was in Italy and I made the sketch and if you've seen this uh, aforementioned video then you've also seen the process of uh, sketching this. So check it out if you are interested. This is a step away from what I actually intended with this sketchbook. I kind of relapsed 
and just had this feeling of, oh, Anastasia, but you have to practice and you have a sketchbook now, so you could make something with it. And kind of, you're painting birds lately, isn't that right? So come on, practice birds. And I just didn't enjoy it. And also I've noticed that I lost a lot of skill with graphite. Yeah, so this happened. <laughs> this page is really interesting. This is, again, kind of a moody spread. I just saw this apple sitting right in front of me. I didn't finish it. And for some reason, I just, just got this urge to paint it. But the more interesting thing, I think, is this. Um, it's kind of abstract, and I don't usually do abstract art. That's just not my area of expertise. And yet I felt really drawn to this particular style in this instance. And the story with those two sketches is that I went jogging. And I went jogging during sunset. And the colors were just so, so, so beautiful. I have enjoyed it immensely. And I just felt so mindful and in the moment and really wanted to capture this moment. And yet when I came home, obviously I didn't have all the details uh, before my eyes anymore. And then I thought instead of creating this really detailed picture, I could just try to capture the mood and the colors of the moment. So I took some uh, watercolors and then some pencils and I scribbled over the watercolors and it came out pretty well, I would say. When I look at those, I really, really see the moment again. In this case, I went jogging again and that was quite interesting. So the thing you see here is called an animal cloud. And yeah, I just turned around at some point and looked back and there was just this giant, giant weird cloud um, hanging over the field and over here there was lightning inside this cloud and aside from this cloud there, there were no clouds anywhere it was just this one animal cloud and that was so fascinating to watch and this thing is a sketch i made literally on the last day of august i went into the forest and i sat down far away from any and all roads away from people just myself and my dog and my paints and i just started painting it was such a calming relaxing and mindful experience i will do that again i'm very very sure of that i didn't finish it because it was because it started raining and it and it got really dark. <laughs> I actually filmed it, but I later noticed that the camera was kind of out of focus, unfortunately. But I'm very happy that I did this. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this little sketchbook tour. Tell me if you liked it, leave a comment, like the video, so that I know that you are interested in videos like that and would like to see more from me. Yeah, and until then, see ya!